everybody welcome back to my channel it's christina from pretty distressed today's tutorial is going to be all about painting cabinets i get questions about this a lot from the blog and from viewers of this channel i'm going to be redoing my kids uh bathroom vanity so i'm starting small and we'll see how that goes and hopefully it'll give you guys some tips and tricks uh, for painting cabinetry around your house. As always, I will leave a list of all the products I use in the description box, so you can check that out and you can buy any of that stuff on Amazon. If you're new here, please subscribe before you leave. Come back and see me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys always. That's all I got, so let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So today I'm going to be tackling this bathroom vanity. I'm going to be using one of my favorite paints, Annie Sloan Chalk Paint, in the color French Linen. French Linen is on the neutral spectrum in the Annie Sloan paint line. Um, it's a gray, but it has some like khaki undertones, and it's a little bit of a deeper gray um, since my walls are like light gray. And I'm going to be sealing it with General Finishes High Performance Flat. I have a couple videos where I've used that on top of any Sloan Chalk Paint, so I will link those up above so that you can check them out. You could definitely stain this. Uh, it's just going to be easier for me to just paint it and see how it goes. It is in really rough shape. It honestly needs to be replaced, but I'm just going to try to paint it um, just to see if I can make it look prettier. And if I totally fail, you know, there's always the option of replacing it. In a kitchen, you don't always have that option. So again, it's good to start small if you have some type of cabinetry, whether it's in your laundry room or a small hall bath or like your kid's bathroom, which is probably just wrecked anyways. <laughs> like I'm always saying around here, start small and then go big. We're gonna be tackling this and I'm gonna take you to the step-by-step -step process. Let me just zoom you in and we'll get started. So here is my oak cabinet I'm going to be painting today. It is original to the house, so it's almost 20 years old. Um, it's pretty beat up in rough shape. So today I'm going to take a 150 medium grit sandpaper. I'm just going to apply this to a sanding block. I'm just going to rough this up a little bit. I am definitely not stripping off the finish. And typically with any Sloan chalk paint, I don't even do this step. But since this is a cabinet that has a lot of wear and tear and might have some greasy little handprints on it, I am going to rough it up just a little bit so the paint will stick better. You're going to start by sanding with the grain all the doors um, and any drawers that you might have and then you're going to go ahead and remove those. Here I'm just using a drill and if you have these funky little dr fake drawers you can usually just stick your hand behind them and twist them out. Um, if you have actual drawers I would recommend drilling the drawer front off and separating those and then going ahead and sanding all your framework separately. So the front and all the drawers and everything are oak, but my side and my kickboard is actually laminate, which is a piece of MDF with just a sticker over it. But I am going to sand this just the same as the oak. So sand this down. You'll see these little white spots. Don't worry about it. We are going to prime this actually before we paint it. The next step is to take a tack cloth and just rub everything down to get all that dust residue off of what we just sanded. Make sure you do the doors, the drawers, the frame, and the side. Next, I'm going to grab my painter's tape and plastic in one, and I'm just going to tape off the floor around my vanity. I love this stuff. It's so easy to protect the piece and then the floor in just one step. And then you're going to just take regular painter's tape and tape off any areas on the wall that you need to protect as well. So since the side of my vanity and my baseboard are laminate, I need to do one extra step before we can start painting this with the chalk paint, and that's to apply a primer. This is the Zinsser Bullseye 2 Multipurpose. This primer is exclusively sold at Lowe's, so if you want to buy it on Amazon or somewhere else, another substitute for it is the Bullseye 123. Either one of those is going to work. We're just putting on a coating here so that our paint will not peel off once we put it on there. All you need is one coat of this and you can use any type of brush you have around the house to apply it. So I am going to be painting this with Annie Sloan chalk paint and French linen today. I'm painting right out of the can because this is an old can and there's not much left so I know I'm going to be using the whole thing. If this is a brand new can I recommend pouring it in a separate container and working from there. Another great tip is to tip your can upside down 20 minutes before you start painting just to distribute all that color. But all you're going to do is just give it a stir. This is the consistency we're looking for. This is a shot of the brush I'm going to be using today. I forgot to film it, but here it is. From a different project, it's a pretty uh, all-natural bristle brush. You can use an Annie Sloan brush, but this is the one that I prefer. It's my go-to brush, so I'm using it today. I'm going to squirt it with a little water. I am going for a smooth finish today and keeping your brush wet and kind of spraying your paint every, you know, minute or two just helps kind of alleviate some of those brush strokes and give us a smoother look. 
And since we are going for that smooth finish, I am going to paint with the grain just the way I sanded. When I say paint with the grain, I mean just look at your wood and you will see the natural grain. It'll either run vertical or horizontal and just follow those lines. So as you can see here, the grain switches to horizontal. So I am painting along with that grain. So I've spread out in my hallway to give myself a little bit more room because the easiest way to paint your drawer fronts and your cabinet doors is by painting them uh, horizontal like a tabletop. You're going to get less strip marks that way. So what you're going to need is like a little can of paint like this or you can get, I think they're called painter's teepees or something. You just want to have something that you can rest it on. This way you'll be able to paint all the edges of the door and drawers. So now I'm going to show you my technique for painting a door. You always want to start in the crevice on the inside like this. If you have like a lower panel, you want to paint all around this edge and really push your paint into those corners. And then you're going to smooth out the flat surface in the middle and then work your way out all the way to the edges of the door. And to keep everything smooth, I'm still painting with the grain. Make sure you don't go back and rework a section, really paint it and then move on. The only thing you wanna watch for are those big globs of paint or drip marks. Make sure that you smooth those out completely so you don't have to go back and sand them later when it dries. And here is what that first coat looks like once it's completed. And now that my primer is dry, I'm going to paint the side of my piece and my kickboard. Chuck paint dries really fast, so that is one really positive thing about this. So just let it dry for a couple of hours and then you'll be ready to do your second coat. So for the additional coats that I'm going to do, I am going to thin them out a little bit. So get a container. I do recommend a glass one so you can seal it up when you're done using it. I do about 15 sprays of water for about a cup of paint. And then I'm just going to stir that up and again wet my brush like I did before. Now an additional step that I do for the second and third coat, I'm going to take that same spray bottle and actually spray my surface down. So just give it a light misting before I paint. It just helps smooth out those additional coats. My technique for painting though is going to be exactly the same. And for this finish, since I was going for a really smooth modern look, I did do three coats of paint. I normally do two coats when I'm doing furniture, but for this, I just wanted it really covered and smooth. So I did do three coats of paint on this vanity. So between coats, just make sure you're allowing enough time to dry. I think typical dry time is like anywhere from two to four hours, but just check your surface and really just make sure it's dry before you move on and do that second and third coat. And I am just showing you one door here, but make sure that you do your second and third coats on your frame as well as your drawer fronts. So to seal this with a top coat today, I'm going to be using the General Finishes High Performance Top Coat in Flat. This has become my new favorite sealer for chalk paint. I have a couple videos about it and I'll link them up above in case you want to check them out. Before you start sealing with your top coat, make sure you wipe everything down with a tack cloth. I will be using a foam applicator to apply this top coat. My technique for applying this top coat is going to be really similar the way that I painted. So I'm going to start in these crevices and really push the product in there. I'm going to work going with the grain, doing long strokes, and work my way out to the outer edge of my door. This top coat, it's really important to put it on in a thin coat. You would rather have multiple thin coats than one really chunky coat. It goes on milky white, but it's going to dry down to a nice, beautiful flat finish. So as you're going along, make sure that you're using a thin amount of product. You're not going back and overworking a section that you already put on and just really watch those drip marks and try to smooth those out as you go. And make sure you do the frame as well going with the grain just like we did with the paint. Dry time for this top coat is two to four hours so just make sure that it's dry before we move on to our next step. And here's a tip I always use when working with this top coat. You can actually save these foam brushes in between coats. Just stick it in a Ziploc bag and squeeze all the air out and seal it up tight. And you can reuse it and reuse it until you're done with the project. Our next step, which is sanding. You're going to sand in between coats. I use a 220 sanding pad that's really broken in. If you don't have one that's broken in, use a 400. You are not taking off any finish here. You're just lightly dusting over it to kick back some of that finish. You're using really gentle pressure here. You just want to kick back enough of that finish to give that second coat something to stick to. So that way the coats will really bond together and make a strong finish for you. And again, you're going to take that 
tack cloth and wipe off any residue before we paint on our next coat of top coat. I did three coats of top coat here. That's general finishes recommendations. If you want to make it even stronger, you can do four, five, or six, but three was enough for me, so I stopped at three. Again, make sure you're allowing for those two to four hours for it to dry in between coats. You're going to do the sanding portion again, as well as wiping it down with the tack cloth and then putting on your third coat. So once my top coat was completely dry, I decided to add some hardware. So I just measured those off. Make sure they're really level before you drill those holes. Measure twice, drill once. Um, I got these from Home Depot. They're part of the Martha Stewart line. Hardware is always a quick and easy way just to bump up your style just a little bit. Another project completed. Here is the before, just to remind you what it looked like, and here is the after. I am so excited that I finally painted a cabinet with any Sloan chalk paint. So my final thoughts on this project, I think the cabinet turned out really beautiful. I'm happy with the finish. I hope you guys found some great tips in here for painting cabinets. I'm happy how the top coat turned out. I think it'll be a little bit more durable than wax. If you are painting with white, please know that this top coat is going to yellow your finish just a little bit. So again, test it out on a small spot before you commit to doing a whole cabinet. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment below. Send me your before and afters. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys next time. Welcome back to my channel. Recording you. I thought you wanted me What's to. Me, Nanny? Ah, there's a hair. No. Just wait for that horn to stop. I just want you to know it is all virtually impossible to shoot in this bathroom, but I'm trying to do it for you.